I'm very interested in play and sort of increasing the immersive properties of virtual worlds because I've always felt that play is really the cutting edge of human machine interactions. As people are not being paid to do this stuff, they are paying to put a lot of effort into these things. And so the sort of art of enthralling people and involving them playfully in technology has from the beginnings, from very early games, been pushing forward graphics and sounds, but also interfaces, motion sensitivity, speech recognition. And so I really think, you know, what are the next steps is a very interesting question. As we're starting to see ubiquitous, powerful computing, we're going to start to see game worlds in which characters interact with you in a much more sophisticated way than really I think any machine has interacted with people before. And also we're getting people, because of the amount of attention they're spending on digital play, starting to identify themselves very strongly with things they do and create and belong to in the virtual world and the relationships they have with other people through these sort of playful worlds. And so all this, I think, is, is quite an important window into the future. I'll be really interested in the future to see when you have technologies that today are cutting edge becoming affordable and ubiquitous. So you look at Microsoft's Connect, which is you know, a staggeringly affordable, powerful motion and facial recognition device. It's quite crude. If we imagine a point at which this is costing you know, what mobile phone cameras cost today, and when its ability to recognize you is not just crudely recognizing your joints and face, but it knows who you are, wherever you are, where these kind of cameras, these kind of devices, allow people to just manifest themselves inside virtual environments or inside augmented environments. I think then we're going to start seeing something transformative. You know, at the moment, the smartphone is perhaps leading this revolution because it's making things everywhere and always that used to be in specialised areas. And that perhaps gives us a taste of the leap that's going to happen when this technology you know, when the, the cutting-edge technologies of today are in the smartphones and the tablets of tomorrow, and suddenly the boundary between what is real and what is virtual is being very, very heavily blurred for everyone all of the time.